Six cars made from weird materials. What's up, guys? Common knowledge tells us that cars are made out of metal. Well, mostly, at least. However, that's not for lack of trying other materials. Many a talented and brave engineer has attempted to break the mold, usually with mixed success. Whether it's cost or safety, there's usually a good reason we still use good old metal for our cars. But that being said, here are six cars made out of slightly more exotic stuff. Number 1. The Valorix Oscar – Fake Leather the Cold War influenced many vehicles produced in Eastern Europe, but the Valorix Oscar, produced from 1954 until 1971, is probably one of the strangest. Not for its use of the motorcycle engine, tiny power output or sluggish performance, but for its choice of body material. The Oscar's body was built out of a steel skeleton and covered with a fake leather-type material called igelet stretched over the frame. Interestingly, different parts of the body were held together with button fasteners. Of course, the body wasn't very durable, and it was prone to scratching and ripping, but Valorex produced replacement body panels which could also be obtained from your tailor. Since it was really cheap, the Oscar actually proved to be moderately popular in 60s Czechoslovakia. Number 2. The Smart 4-2 Plastic It's no great surprise that the body panels on the Smart 4-2 are made from plastic, Producing them from metal would just increase the weight of the car unnecessarily. That said, it's still quite innovative. The engineers decided to construct the body from a material called thermoplastic polyolefin, or TPO. The awesome thing about the smart car's body is that the panels are not actually painted, but the entire panel is actually that underneath. This means that it's basically impossible to scratch, ideal for the bumps and scrapes of city driving. As well as that, the Smart's body panels are interchangeable with another 4.2s if you don't like the colour. But unfortunately, the Tridion safety cell around the car is still metal and cannot be changed. Number 3. The Ford Soybean Car – Soybeans So far, I've covered cars made from plastic and fake leather. But soybeans? Yep, that's correct. In 1941, Ford introduced their concept of the Soybean Car, a fully operational prototype which was built using soybeans, wheat, hemp and several other natural ingredients. The mass was pressed then dried, which resulted in pretty solid panels which were as durable as steel but 25% lighter. Ford wanted to combine agriculture with the car industry, and whilst also avoiding steel shortages due to the Second World War. Henry Ford was serious too. He owned 12,000 acres worth of soybean fields dedicated to the project. There was some controversy surrounding the material, suggesting that it wasn't quite as natural as they claimed. But in the end, Ford never revealed the exact formula and the project was abandoned. Number 4. Lotus Fiberglass The late Colin Chapman, the man behind the Lotus car company, was a fascinating character. One of his best-known quotes was, Simplify, then add lightness. His ethos still lives on throughout Lotus vehicles today. How best to reduce weight? Well, the Lotus approach was in the bodywork. Lotus have never been an especially wealthy company, and their reasonably priced vehicles didn't allow for fancy aluminium bodies. Instead, they turned to fiberglass, often used in boating, especially for smaller crafts like canoes and kayaks. The key attributes of fiberglass is that it's light, easy to shape, and does not rust. Its strength comes from the fact that it's essentially long strands of glass which are pressed at high pressure into the shape that you want using a resin. If crashed, it can prove costly, however, instead of denting, it tends to split and tear. Wrecked lotuses are usually dirt cheap for that reason. Number 5. The Bricklin SV1 – Bonded Acrylic and Fiberglass once regarded as the world's safest sports car, the Bricklin SV1 is another 70s obscurity known only by the most dedicated enthusiasts. It was a brainchild of Malcolm Bricklin, an American entrepreneur who wanted to produce a sports car filled with safety features and innovative patents. The most interesting part of the car was the material of the body, bonded acrylic and fiberglass. It sounded like a good idea at first, since the combination was relatively light, durable and cheap to produce. Sadly, after a few years, owners realized that bonded acrylic and fiberglass wasn't such a good idea after all, being very prone to wear and discoloration. For those in the hotter states like California or Nevada, it also couldn't stand the heat when parked outside. The body panels just bend and warp. Not ideal. Number 6. The Trabant 601 – Duraplast 
infamous East German economy car, the Trabant, might be the symbol of the fall of the Berlin Wall, but it's also one of the most interesting cars ever made when it comes to bodywork. The tiny 600cc two-door sedan has a body made entirely from Duroplast, a composite thermosetting plastic which was made out of recycled materials, cotton and resin. It was very durable, reliable and cheap to make, which made it ideal for the East German car industry. The Trabant 601 was introduced in the late 50s and sold until 1991, by which time almost 3.7 million had been made. But that's precisely the problem. The Duroplast never decomposes, so Germany was faced with potentially millions of non-decomposing Trabants. For any other car, this would be great, but it's a shame the Trabant is just so ugly. The solution was to develop special bacteria which would eat the Trabant's body in 20 days. Some urban legends even state that Trabants could be used for feeding farm animals. So there you are. Did I miss out any other weird materials for cars? Let me know in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching. Cheers!